So on that note, I want to encourage you. If you're here for the first time, welcome again. I think that's three times now. Can't overwelcome, I don't think. But one of the things we do here at Grace is take three. And I think it's an awesome idea. Um, if you've never been here before, come three times. Why? You may not like what I have to say. <laughs> or the guitarist. <laughs> you might think, oh, this isn't really for me. But next week, it might be um, Pastor Greg who's leading. He's out at Warhope this morning. We're going to pray for him in a minute. Or it might be that we don't get a chance, all of us, to connect with you and you feel a little bit lonely leaving. If that's, your, if that's you, I apologize because that's not how you should leave this place. But sometimes we get caught up and we don't get a chance to get around. And I'm not talking about us get around as in the leadership. I'm talking about us get around, okay? You come three times and please come and connect. I didn't get a connect card. See, I failed first off. We have these little cards up the back. Um, and we just encourage you, if you want to call Grace your home, you want to get involved, you, maybe you've called Grace your home and you've been here a while and you want to get involved, on the Connect card is some information about, um, you can put your information down, and as Jane always says, and I'm sure Callista will be, thank you, would be eternally grateful, when you do write your email address, put it clearly on there. <laughs> um, and then on the back, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can, help, you can say you want to help or you need help. That's what doing family is all about. Sometimes you get to be the family member that helps and sometimes you be the family member that needs help. Which leads me to our life groups. I love life group. Life group rocks. We've got the best one, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but life group is where we, we say life, our life group, we do life together. That's what it's about. And sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down. And sometimes you don't want to go. And sometimes it's good to have a friend say, hey, where were you last week? Not in a condemnatory way, but in a, I missed you. I get like that with our life group. We do it sometimes with message out, can we please meet? Please, I'm missing you guys. So if you're not part of a life group, can I encourage you? And don't feel when you go to one that that's got to be it. Yep. Go check them all out. Take three. Take three, that's right. <laughs> awesome. But be intentional about it. Find where God wants you to be. It's not about a friend group as such, although they become more than friends, they become family. But it's about where does God want your gift to sit? Where can, where can he use you to touch those around him, around you? that he wants you to touch, that only you can touch, because he created all of us different. I don't see any sing not a single person in this house that looks the same. He must like our differences. Um, baptisms. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> baptisms rock. I always love baptisms. When you see someone who... Maybe they've been a Christian for a while and they take the plunge. Or they've just become a Christian. I went from being a Christian to being baptized in a month. It doesn't matter. It's such an amazing experience to see them come out of the water with that smile on their face, knowing that they're being obedient and they're following in Jesus' footsteps. It's such an awesome thing. And we'll be having baptisms on the 7th of March down at Lake Kadai, Lake Kadai, nothing quite like doing it outside. I did it outside, but it was in England in an outdoor pool. It was cold. <laughs> Lake Kadai is not that cold at the moment, so uh, it'll be great. Um, and then afterwards, it's a BYO barbecue. So it's not just about, oh, well, we watch them get dunked and off we go. We then get to spend time together and eat and celebrate what it is that they've done. Um... As we know, registration starts at 9 a.m. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes we get a bit of a queue out there. So if you can come a little bit earlier, it just makes things run a little bit smoother. Um, 
and let, lets the people at the desk feel a little le less stressed out as they look at the queue that they're trying to get through. Um, and uh, we've got an e-news that goes out. It's great, it's long, but it's really good. Lots of stuff in there. Um, but if you're not getting it, please go and see Callista. Um, she looks after all things admin at this church um, and doing an amazing job, by the way. <laughs> um, but please go and see her. If you can't find her, don't know who she is, come see me. I'll go find her. Um, however, just um, I would encourage you to get the e-news.